Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Nona from TheAlignedLover.com. Happy New Year. Today I have a video on men's body types. I will be discussing Johnny Depp, who is a theatrical romantic. That is a romantic with a dramatic undercurrent. So if you haven't seen my other male kibbe videos, I have covered Elvis Presley, who is a romantic, and I have also covered Sean Connery, who is a dramatic. So Johnny Depp is a kind of mixture of those two in unequal proportions. So again, Johnny Depp is a theatrical romantic that is romantic with a dramatic touch or dramatic undercurrent. So in other words, he's predominantly yin with a little bit of yang to him. So like Elvis Presley, who is a pure romantic, Johnny has a lot of smoothness to his body, I wouldn't say bulk with elongation or sharpness is a dominant feature of his face or his body. He has a lushness to his features, but he does have a little bit of sharp definition. So that is the yang coming through. He has the sharpness through the very chiseled tip and overall shape of his nose his upper lip, his eyes have a bit more of that feline shape instead of that kind of goo-goo, get lost in forever eye that Elvis Presley has. He has a bit of sharpness through his cheekbones and also his jawline. So like the female theatrical romantic who is called the femme fatale chic because she has this underlying forcefulness and sensuality to her that can be described as almost threatening or dangerous. It's very magnetic. It's very captivating. Johnny is that magnetic bad boy. He has that bad boy image. It doesn't mean he's a bad person. He just has that kind of mischievous, dangerous allure to him. And that's what made him so big in the 80s and the 90s. So again, just um, to reiterate, beyond your physical attributes is the overall kind of vibe that you give off, and that is really important to consider when you're playing around with any of these body type systems. It's really supposed to enhance your image, your persona, the kind of character you most deeply resonate with and Johnny is a really great example of that kind of fatal dark beauty. So like romantic Elvis Presley who looks amazing with a lot of face framing ornamentation, Johnny also looks his most appealing or most attractive with a little bit of accessorizing but that accessorizing should be a little bit more intricate a little bit more on the delicate side, more sculpted, more sensual, rather than using very big and very bulky, very eclectic, animated, and playful accessories. So here he looks great with these different earrings. Here is a nice delicate necklace and some hoops here and here, simple hoop earrings. Just these little intricate, delicate touches can really help enhance the kind of balance of his facial beauty. So going into outerwear, which is something that Johnny wears a lot. He loves his coats. He loves his leather jackets. It's really important to keep them fitted, sculpted, and shapely, whether it is a longer coat here or a shorter leather jacket. There has to be a sense of fluidity and fittedness to the item or else it will easily overwhelm like on the right side where everything is just too boxy too bulky just too much volume and it hides that romantic delicacy of his frame so i recommend with longer jackets looking for something that is fitted with a little bit of tapering at the waist maybe using vents in the back or on the side um, and keeping details quite close to the body quite flat so as you can see here the pockets 
are laying quite flat to the body so they're not bulging out they're not too bulky with shorter jackets you really want to make sure that the shoulders and the armholes are quite accurately fitted if the shoulders are too big it's going to overwhelm that kind of delicate shoulder shape and if the armholes are not fitted you're going to make your arm look like one strangely short unit like here and when i say strangely short i'm not saying that short is necessarily strange but it will look inappropriate or disproportionate to the rest of your body so make sure the shoulders and the armholes are nice and relatively fitted it doesn't have to be super tight here there's a bit of a more relaxed feel to it but the coat or jacket overall is quite form-fitting it's long it's more sleek and he has that nice round collar here we again have just too much bulk too much excess volume a little bit too much bagginess um, too much ruggedness so you want to keep it more on the sleek sensual side as opposed to very uh, rugged rough and worn out which looks better on naturals most of the time okay so another detail that will really bring out the beauty or the appeal of the theatrical romantic is the use of intricate and soft details as opposed to more harsh bulky details so here he has this beautiful intricate more subtle paisley print um, the colors are not fighting with each other here he has this faded smaller flannel and this more soft edged print on his t-shirt here he has just very harsh color blocks and they just really really overwhelm the theatrical romantic it's just too perky it's too animated it's just too electric it's just very foreign from the smooth fluidity of the theatrical romantic appeal so instead what you really want to do to bring out that gorgeous appeal of the theatrical romantic is to use little doses of sensuousness whether it is a sensuous collar some ruffles a printed and patterned silky scarf or pocket square the use of satin the use of shiny prints like brocade or jacquard that can really help make your attractiveness or beauty or persona pop it's like the salt and i like to compare theatrical romantics to like dark chocolate so salted dark chocolate tastes even more rich and even more deep strangely enough even more smooth um, as opposed to other types who i like to think of more like perky or very fresh vibrant um, citrus fruits or grapefruits or mints um, the theatrical romantic vibe is just a lot more dark I think dark deep wines dark deep berries dark chocolate anything that tastes very sensual and smooth but has that you know note of very strong depth to it so with all of that depth comes mystique and one way to ruin that image of mystique is to use too much detail too much loudness too many eclectic accessories because it can look very busy and chaotic like here he is just kind of overwhelmed by all of these accessories and prints whereas on the top he keeps it more simple sensual fitted and you can really really see how strong his particular and unique appeal is again each type has their own unique appeal um, and there's no use in trying to fake a certain appeal you have the appeal that you have so just try to figure out when 
or under what circumstances you really shine and you really feel the most resonant with. So with Johnny, he has that like artsy, almost tortured soul, dark, plutonic beauty to him. And in these two photos, it's so strongly conveyed. If you'd like to watch a movie featuring Johnny Depp and appreciate some really great style, I recommend watching Blow because so many details of his outfits look beautiful on him. They just really bring out his face, especially when there's so many close-ups in the film. You can see his collar and the way that certain materials, colors, and prints interact with his face and his amazing hair in this movie, you can get a really strong sense of this kind of appeal. And sometimes it's much easier to absorb um, the vibe of a certain type instead of trying to create lists and over-intellectualizing it. Um, just try to get the feel of the different types. And because I think it's really helpful, here are some photos of Johnny Depp with, um, I think, another theatrical romantic, Orlando Bloom. They were in the Pirates movie saga or trilogy, whatever, together. And it's hard to tell because there's just so much costuming and makeup, um, especially on Johnny. But if you look at them in more candid and less posed, less made up photos, they have a lot of similarities, especially if you look at their face. Their faces both have that lushness, a bit of that round but compact quality, but with that bit of sharpness, that chiseling, and um, you can really see it with their noses, their lips, and the inner corners of their eyes, as well as their cheekbones. Orlando is a little bit longer and taller than Johnny, but I think they both have that kind of petite trimness to their appeal. They also have a lot of smoothness to their body, so I wouldn't say that with musculature, bulk, or balance are their dominant aspects either. And just for some more comparison here, are some photos of Johnny with men of other body types. So here he is with Jude Law, who I believe um, is listed as a soft classic. You can really see how Jude just has much more of that averageness or moderation to him. Um, and he's just not as concentrated as Johnny looks. Here he is next to... Tom Cruise, who I think is listed as a soft natural, and you can't really see their bodies too well, but you can see that Tom has a lot more width and bulk to him, especially with his upper body, and you can see that his features are a little more blunt in shape, especially his nose, um, the shape of his mouth, and they just have very different vibes. I would call Tom's vibe a lot more upbeat and I would say extroverted. Both have intensity but it's channels through different mediums. And here he is um, in a still from the movie Mordecai with Jeff Goldblum who I believe is a soft dramatic and he has amazing style. I think I will do a video on him next and you can see Jeff is just a lot more long, more narrow, more elongated, more sharp, and bigger than Johnny. They both have that intensity to them as well, but again, it's expressed in very different ways. So that is it for today's video. These videos are more of a discussion or introduction to different men's ideas, so it's not going to explain every detail of how a certain type should approach their outfits or their wardrobes, though I hope to cover that more deeply in a future series. Um, this is meant to kind of explore the different images um, throughout the spectrum of the yin-yang body typing system. So I will see you in the next video, and I think I'm going to cover 
Jeff Goldblum. He's just amazing in terms of style and he has such an interesting personality. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.